Hey, what's up guys? Mike here, owner of Mac Financial Group. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're going to be focusing on how to send invoices on QuickBooks Online so you can get paid faster and look more professional doing it. Uh, before we get started, I need to do all my standard YouTube asks. So if you guys could please throw a like on this video, if you could hit some subscribe button down below and turn on the alerts so you can get notified every time we post a video right now that is every Sunday. And please share this video out to anybody else you think will benefit from this information. And make sure you stick around to the end of the video so you can find out how to get three free stocks and start your stock portfolio out today risk free. All right, guys, enough of that. Let's dive into the screen and let's see how it works. All right, guys, so there's a couple ways to start creating an invoice in QuickBooks Online. So I'm going to show you one way fully through and then I'll show you a couple other ways to get it started. So first play I'm going to show you is if you go into the sales section and go into invoices. So when you're in the invoice section, you'll be able to see all the list of all the invoices that you've already previously sent um, in a this bar up top here will give you overdue or not due yet and what's been deposited. So it gives you a pretty good snapshot uh, about like the status of your invoices right on the top. And then you can just look and see which ones you've already sent down here. So to create a new invoice, you'll go over here to new invoice. And you'll select your customer. So say we're going to send one to Joe Barton and if their email is already set up in their customer that'll pop up on its own but let's say his name is Joe at fake email dot fake so then you can choose their payment method and we're going to go into more depth on the QuickBooks payments in another video but if you have that set up you can choose how you want them to pay. So if you will accept card and ACH, this will give them the option to pay in both of these ways on the email. Uh, their address will be filled out here as long as you filled out their customer information correctly. Um, and now this is where you can pick your terms. So you can do net 30, um, do on receipt. Um, you can add the the percentage of discount if they paid within 10 days uh, so all of these things here or you can just make your own right there so if you select next net 30 and then if your invoice date is the 12th it'll automatically put 30 days later and then if there's any PO number or sales rep information that you need to put in about the invoice then that you can put that right there so then you just select your services. So let's say we did services for $5,000. And if you remember from our sales tax video, or if you haven't seen that, go back and watch our sales tax video. But if your product or service is already set for to calculate sales tax, then this box will automatically be checked for you. If you, if this, if you don't want to charge sales tax on the invoice, you can uncheck it here as well. But I would always do this part or the, if it's taxable or not on the actual product or service itself. It just saves a lot of time. And you can continue to add more lines if you'd like. 7,000. And you can put a description of what those services are. So say here, this is the demolition. And here is the installation. Just so your client knows how much you're charging or what you're charging for each line, you can put a little more of a description than just what your product or service is there. So you could put a little message here if you'd like. Um, or and if you want to send a statement to your customer, it'll show here. And any supporting documents or anything like that that you'd like to attach to the invoice, you can drag or drop right into this section. So as you see, we put $5,000 for one set of services, $7,000 for the second line. That totaled up to $12,000. Since both of these were taxable, it automatically calculated the sales and use tax based on my location. And we have our total invoice here, including sales tax. Now, 
if you want to send this to the individual, you would click Save and Send. And this is where you can get to see a preview of what you'll be sending. So it automatically sets up your subject for you and it says, Dear customer, here's your invoice. We appreciate your prompt payment. And since you selected these options in here, they're going to actually have a pay invoice button right here so they can pay either through ACH transfer or credit card right through the in, right through the email that you're sending them now. So I'm not going to send this. I don't have anyone that I'm actually sending this to, but say you would send and close and this would be sent. So I'm actually just going to do save and close so that it doesn't send to anybody. And then you'll see that new invoice that popped up right here that we just created that it's due in 30 days. And then you have your options on the side here to send a reminder, view or edit. Anytime you edit this invoice and you've already sent the invoice to them on the email, they will receive the updates on their end. Uh, you can copy, delete, void or share the link if need be. And you can also see the status. So once it was sent, you'll see this checkbox here. Once they viewed it, you'll see that they viewed it. And once it's paid and deposited, so you'll see the tracking of all the steps here. And you'll be able to come in and see this, the, what status that, that invoice is at at any point in time. So the, another thing I want to show you is if you go into Account and Settings, and you go into sales. Now you can actually customize the way your invoices look. So for example, you can do a new style or you, you can do a new style. So new invoice. And this is where you can actually change change up the template so you can have a modern view or a fresh view old and just if you can really just choose whichever one you like um, I actually like the airy classic this is normally what I send you can make logo edits so you can add a new logo you can make it small medium or large uh, you can change the color so maybe I want mine green because that's my company colors. You can change your font. I don't like that one. Times New Roman. And you can change your margins and check it how it prints out. For content, this is where you can actually click on what the business name is, phone number, email. You can put all that stuff. This is really your information. Um, if you want website, anything like that on there. And then any the terms, you put the shipping information there. You can choose what goes on your invoice and what fields are going to be showing up. And then on the actual email, like you saw when we sent it, you can just customize this a little further so you can change what your subject looks like or if you have a specific message that you'd like to put in here, maybe you want to be a little more personal in your message on your email you can change that and this use greeting will be dear and then full name so it's taking this information straight from your customers uh, information that you've already input so it already allows you to it, it, it automatically fills it out for you so you don't have to type their name in every time and you can also change to or you don't have to have any intro and then you can change your reminder email as well. So once you send that reminder, you can edit that as well. So once you have any of that, you can preview it. Once, once you feel comfortable with everything, you just hit done. And now, whenever you create your invoices or create your reminders and emails that you send out, all of those settings that you just set up there are going to be saved. And for example, let me go right back into invoices real quick. 
And just to make sure that that template is there, you'll actually go to the bottom and choose the invoice template. So say we want to use this, this one we created today, 7-2. Put all that same information in, save and close. Won't let me because I didn't put any information in, but this is where you'll choose that template that you just changed. Or you could do a new style or edit the current one right here. This is another way to get to that customization section. So lastly, there's a couple other places you can create an invoice. There's one way is you can just go to new and hit invoice right here in the quick screen. So that'll get you to the same spot we did before. Or if you're in with a customer, so say you're looking in the customer section and we're actually in with Bob Barton, you can go to new transaction and create an invoice then it automatically has all of his information up top already so you don't have to fill those parts out and you can just create an invoice straight to this individual. All right, guys, and that's how you send invoices in QuickBooks Online. Make sure you check back in the next couple of weeks. We're going to be going over some more advanced features like accepting payments and doing progress invoicing, things like that. So just keep an eye out on the channel. Those are going to be coming in the next couple of weeks. Um, but now how to get your three free stocks. If you look at the links down below in the description, the first link is for Weeble. Once you sign up, you get your first free stock. And then when you deposit $100, you get your second free stock. And that second free stock is worth up to $1,400. The second link down below is for Robinhood. And once you sign up with Robinhood, you get your third free stock. So don't miss out on that opportunity. And I hope you guys have a great week. And I'll see you next time.